Guys, let's have a look at this question over here. What we given over here is the area as 10 meters squared, and we asked to find the value of x. So this is my length. Let's call it L, and this is my width. And we know that area is always equal to length multiplied by width. So we've got to take this and multiply it by that. So I'm going to put them in a bracket, 3x plus 4. And I'm going to multiply it by 2x. And that's going to equal 10. Now 3x multiplies by 2x to get you 6x squared. And then 4 multiplies by 2x to get you 8x. I'm going to move the 10 across the left-hand side. It's going to change size, change size, and become negative 10. Because 6, 8, and 10 can divide by 2, we can rewrite this in a more simplified form. 3x squared plus 4x minus 5 equals 0. And now we can attempt to factorize this. And if it does not factorize, then we can use the quadratic formula. All right. So I'm going to make A equal to 3, B equal to 4, and C equal to negative 5. And from here, I'm going to use the quadratic formula minus B plus minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC, all divided by 2A, and that's going to be the value of X that we're looking for. So minus 4 plus minus the square root of 4 squared minus 4 times 3 times negative 5, all divided by 2 multiplied by 3. I can simplify it in one more step, which makes it easier for me to put in a calculator. So this is going to be 16. That'll be 4 times 3 is 12. 12 times 5 is uh, 60. All right, so it's going to be plus 60 over 6. Just as well, we use the quadratic formula because this is not a perfect square, which means your answer is not going to be whole numbers or fractions or rational numbers. So that's the square root of 76 over 6. And we're going to have two solutions for x. We put this on a calculator. And let's get two solutions for x, x1 and x2. We're going to use plus first and then minus after that. So you grab your calculator. Make sure you press your fraction button very carefully. So minus 4 plus square root of 76 divided by 6. Your first solution would be 0 0.786. And your second solution, keeping it in your calculator and then simply changing the plus into a minus, gets you negative 2.119. You can say 1, 2, 0. All right, then that would be my two solutions for x. If I put one of those solutions in it, it will work. What we must remember, though, is that this solution would be not applicable because you can't have a negative value. You can only have a positive value, so the only answer will be x equals 0 0.786, and that would be the answer for this question over here. All right, let's jump into another one now. Let's suppose in this instance, we have a triangle. And the triangle has a height of x plus 4 and the base of 6x minus 1. Perpendicular height is that. And we're given that, we're also given that the area is equal to 5 meters squared. We want to calculate the value of x plus. So for this one here, what we're going to do is start with the formula for a triangle. So we know that area is equal to base height divided by 2. And our base is equal to 6x minus 1. Our height is equal to x plus 4. And all divided by 2 will equal my area, which is given as 5. 
I'm going to multiply this by 2 across. It's going to become 10. And now I'm going to remove the bracket by multiplying using products, so laws of products. So 6x squared plus 6x times 4, which will equal 24x minus x minus 4. And so that'll be 6x squared, 24 minus 1 will be 23, x minus 4. I'm now going to move the 10 across and make it into a negative 10, which will get me 0, 6x squared, plus 23x minus 14, after I've moved it. So therefore, my a equals to 6, my b equals to 23, and my c equals to negative 14. Using the formula, minus b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, all divided by 2a, will get me my solution. So x will equal negative 23 plus minus the square root of b squared, which is 23 squared, minus 4 times a, which is 6, times c, which is negative 14 divided by 2 times 6. I'm going to put this in a calculator first and get it into a more simplified root. And then I'm going to put the whole thing in after that. This will ensure that I don't make any careless mistakes. I'm going to get it into that form. 2 times 6 is 12, by the way. I'm going to work this out and just put that in there before I put everything in a calculator. So 23 squared minus 4 times 6 times negative 14 comes to 865. And so now I can get two values for x, x1 and x2 over here. So negative 23 plus, press the fraction button first, then put negative 23 at the top in the numerator, square root of 865 divided by 12 comes to 0 0.53 4 keeping it in your calculator and changing it into a negative will come to keeping everything else the same comes to negative 4.37 negative 4.37 All right, and those are my two solutions for that. Okay, I'm going to give you a rectangle now on this side and a triangle on this side. You're going to try and find the value of x. Over here, the area is equal to 10, and I've got 6x plus 5 and 2x plus 3. Well, let's just say 2x. Over here, I've got a perpendicular height of x plus 1 and a base of 2x plus 3. And the area for this is given as 5. For each of these, we want to calculate the value of x. So grab a blank piece of paper. and see if you can calculate each of these. All right, guys, let's continue with this question now. So the first one over here, what we have is we have length multiplied by width equals the area. So we're going to go length times width equals area. And so that's going to be 6x plus 5 multiplied by 2x equals to 10. And that'll become 12x plus 10x minus 10 equals 0. 
divide everything by 2 becomes 6x plus 5x minus 5 equals 0. And so a equals 6, b equals 5, and c equals negative 5. And so therefore, x will equal minus 5 plus minus the square root of 5 squared minus 4 times 6 times minus 5 over 2 multiplied by 6. That'll be minus 5 plus minus the square root of 25. 4 times 6 is 24. 24 times 5. So let's put all of that on a calculator. So we're going to have 5 squared minus 4 times 6 times minus 5. It comes to 145 over 12. And so it'll be minus 5, I press the fraction button first, minus 5 plus square root of 145, denominator is 12, comes to 0 0.587. Or keep it there, and let's go to the negative. Negative 1.42. We must remember that this would be not applicable because you can't have a negative length. And if we go to the previous question, we also ended up with this. We're just supposed to state n slash a for the negative because we can't have a negative value for a length. All right, so not applicable is quite important for this question as well. Okay. So for this one here, we end up with that there. Here we go. This one is your height for the next question now, and this is your base. Area is equal to base height divided by 2. So 5 is your area. Base is 2x plus 3 multiplied by. So 2x plus 3 multiplied by x plus 1. All divided by 2. Let's multiply this bracket out. I move this across, multiply it to come 10. And 2x multiplies by x now. Get 2x squared. So we got 2x squared plus 2x plus 3x plus 3. And so that becomes 10. This is going to be 2x squared plus 5x plus 3. It gets me 2x squared plus 5x. 3 minus 10 is negative 7. And so a equals 2, b equals 5, and c equals minus 7. And so that's minus 5 plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac is 5 squared minus 4 times 2 times negative 7 divided by 2 times 2. So minus 5 plus minus the square root of 25. 4 times 7 is 28. 4 times 2 is 8 times 7 is 56. So plus 56 divided by 4, and it'll get me two values for x. Most likely the negative answer, if there is one, will be the not applicable one. Okay, so minus 5. This one I'm going to probably just, because I'm out of space, just put 25 plus 56 in a root together. Divided by 4 comes to a very nice number 1. All right, so this is factorizable, which means this is equal to 1, but let's check if I make it into a minus. Obviously, it will be because minus 3.5. And that is going to be a not applicable part over there. All right, so that would be your final answers there. Working out and substitution into a formula as well, stating which one is not applicable for this. Okay.